Hello everybody, this is the Mothership here, today I'm showing you how to eliminate lag in your Realm of the Mad God game. Now I've had plenty of experience playing on crap tops, lag tops, and mm, old Mac computers, and lagging a lot in Realm of the Mad God. So I'd say I'm sort of kind of an expert through suffering on this topic, all my first characters died to lag, and I have a special spot in my heart for those poor souls who lost their lives to my net jitter. Now, a lot of you subs are asking, Mothership, how do I eliminate lag? And that's what I'm about to show you here with these easy 10, I think, tips. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. Also, this was a question video. Ask us questions. If you want us to do a video, tell us. There's also two Q&As going on. Sorry to interrupt the video, but one of them is a personal Q&A and one of them is a Q&A about realm, like things you want to know, tips and tricks, stuff like that. Anyway, now we can get into the video. So first of all, the thing that you can do is you can hit your toggle performance stats hotkey, which I'm showing you currently in your options, to wonder how much these tips help you lag. You have a couple of really important things. You have the FPS, where higher is better. That's the thing that's out of 60. I usually run at about 65 out of 60. Don't ask why. Then you have the memory, which is uh, sort of a thing that shows how much you've accumulated over time. Like if you've been playing for a while, that memory will go up and eventually you'll get to the point where you start having issues with your game because your memory is too darn high. Now you also have the MS and the net jitter. If these are higher, it's worse. They're related to your internet. So we're going to be covering internet and frame rate related issues in this video. Now that we've got that established and you know how much things are helping you because you can see it here, let's get into the tips. First of all, Turn off your draw shadows. Second of all, turn your particles to low. Both of these things are basically just making it easier for your computer to process all of the textures and things that happen because they don't need to draw little shadows under the characters and they don't need to put off a ton of particles. I mean, the particles thing didn't actually help me that much, but it might help you a bunch, so try it. Next, turning off background programs. This one's commonly overlooked amongst the lagging community. Um, just because they're like, oh, I can't have Skype, Spotify, and freaking download a bunch of YouTube videos all at the same time. What? Not only will this lag your frame rate, but it also will destroy your internet up and download speed, giving you high ping and net jitter. Ping is MS, by the way. Just higher is worse. So close out your background programs. If you know how to turn off processes with Task Manager, try doing that as well. Now, getting into the hardware portion, Realm is very CPU intensive, so if you can get a better CPU, you're going to be better off playing Realm. If you don't know what a CPU is, or you don't know much about CPUs, please do not try to change your CPU. Do some research, or just ignore it and live in ignorance for the rest of your life. Next up, using Flash Player instead of the main website. There's a lot of people that play Realm of Mad God on RealmOfMadGod.com. Now this isn't exactly terrible, I mean I started out there too, but what you can do is you can go over to Realmi and follow this wonderful simple guide. I mean I might also make a video on this guide and it would be in the top right corner if I have made a video on it, but it's pretty easy to follow. You set the quality of your flash projector to low once you have it as well. Seriously, follow the guide though, like you won't know what I'm talking about unless you follow it. Then you can go set the quality of your flash projector to low while playing the game. This helped my frames out a ton. It only looks a little bit uglier, I mean Realm's already pixelated, so it looks a little bit uglier. Some of my recordings you can tell, but it's pretty cool because it gives you a boost to your frame rate. Now next up, if you have a new account or your account's migrated and you can play it on multiple platforms, or you just don't care about your current account, uh, you can try playing on Steam. Now, if you don't know what Steam is, look into it, but basically it's this big game sharing website. All of you know what it is, I'm sure. Anyway, download Realm on Steam, because this, although it might be more intensive occasionally for your game, uh, I know while I'm recording, Steam can get pretty, pretty much like start lighting my CPU on fire, but that's all right. It doesn't rack up memory as quickly as Flash does. If you're remembering one of those settings, which you're seeing on the screen right now, you will not rack up memories quickly, which means you can play for a lot longer. So if that's your issue, maybe give Steam a shot, try it out. Next up, if you are on Steam, turn your hardware acceleration on. If you are anywhere except for Steam, this counts Congregate, Flash Projector, RealmOfMadGod.com, pretty much anywhere else you are, you're gonna wanna turn your hardware acceleration to off. We don't know, well, someone does know, but I don't know why hardware acceleration changes over the platforms but basically turn it on if you're on Steam, turn it off if you're not. Now lastly, as a tip, this one's new, actually Deca just implemented this. If you type D-E-C-A 
M-E-N-U in your chat without making any errors. If you make an error, just backspace the whole thing and type it again. This is Deca Menu, no space. Just type it in chat. This little yellow message will come up and then you don't even have to hit enter. It's just done. You're seeing how I'm doing it right now. And this allows you to turn off things like ally shots, particles of things hitting enemies, things like this, things that hack clients have allowed for a, a while. I don't endorse hacking, by the way, don't hack. But you can turn off particles with this experimental menu. Now they're pretty obvious, you can test them out and they'll give you a huge boost. Like I used to get like 20 frames on my lag top, laptop I mean, <laughs> uh, but now I get 60. Okay, it's awesome. Thank you Deca for adding this. Uh, they're pretty self-explanatory, just turn them off and turn them on as you like. Personally, I like seeing ally shots, especially in videos, so I'm not going to be turning them off on my desktop, which can handle recording at 60 FPS. Now, this has been How to Eliminate Lag in Realm of the Mad God. I hope you enjoyed. If you guys have special tips or questions as well, uh, also suggestions, comments, questions, and criticism. I guess I already said questions. Anyway, if you have anything to say about this particular issue or any other issue, as well as entering in the Q&A some questions, go ahead and head to the comments below. I check every single comment that we get on our videos, and we'd love to know what you think about this. See you in the next video, guys. I hope you don't lag as much.